Meet You in the Soup, written by Cheryl E. Hill, illustrated by Della Burns. This book is dedicated to my grandmother, Mama, Mrs. Grace Gordon, Mrs. Grace Elizabeth Thomas Gordon. Mama lived a very long life. Her life was happy. She was born on October 10th, 1912. She passed away on June 18th, 2009. Mama was about 97 years old when she passed living a very long life. This book is also dedicated to my mother, Marion Gordon Montgomery, my grandma's only child. She was a beloved princess. And as the granddaughter, I bask in the royal magic dust of love sprinkling down upon me. Page one. Wake up, sleepyhead. Cajole mama. I smiled inward with happiness. The sound of mama's voice and the nearness of her made me feel warm and loved. Her nearness made me feel safe too. Page two. Half dreaming still, I remembered the night before. I'd awakened frightened by the darkness of the house. Mama came to my rescue as usual. Page three. She gave me hot milk with vanilla added. It soothed me to sleep again. Page four. Then just before dawn, before the rooster crowed, cock a doo doo, as it always happened, I had to go potty. If I had to do number one, I used the big chamber pot next to Mama's bed. Page five, but if I had to do number two, I used the bathroom on the back porch. I was never afraid with my mama standing by. Page six, good yummy smells from the kitchen tickle my nose and awaken me gently from my sleeping dreams. Page seven. Come on, child, hurry. Wash your face and hands so you can eat. Mama handed me a warm, soapy washcloth. Page eight. Mama stood by watching me clean my face and hands. Come on, be quick. Your grits are waiting. Don't want them to get cold. Mama urged hurriedly as she sashayed from the room. Page Nine, trailing after Mama, straight through to the kitchen I went. Page 10, 
There on the kitchen table was a bowl of hot, steamy grits with creamy butter and chunks of New York sharp cheese melting on top. I dug eagerly into my favorite food of all, grits and cheese. Mmm, mmm, what a treat. While I ate, Mama hustled and bustled about like a streak of lightning. She dusted and cleaned here, there, and everywhere. Page 11. Mama was a domestic worker. She cleaned other ladies' houses. But she always hurried to clean her own house before going off to theirs. It was amazing how fast Mama could work. She seemed to have more hands than most people. She could do so many things all at once. On page 12, there are pictures of Mama working hurriedly fast, cleaning her own house before going off to clean the other ladies' houses. Page 13. When Mama was finally content with her house, she would speed straight ahead to get ready to leave for work. I followed reluctantly behind her. Page 14. Mama is getting ready and I'm following behind slowly, reluctantly. Page 15. I followed Mama to the front porch. We hugged and kissed. I whispered our loving Goodbye words to her. Meet you in the soup, Mama. Meet you in the soup, Shecky, Mama whispered cooingly back to me. Page 15. Pictures of Mama and me hugging and kissing just before she turned to leave for the day. Page 16. Page 17. I stood on the front porch watching Mama as far as I could see her before turning the corner to be lost from my eyesight, Mama turned around. Mama turned once before, once more to look behind, to look back at me. Blowing me a kiss, she shouted, Meet you in the soup, Shecky! Page 18. Pictures of Mama as she tur walks on her way to the bus stop and finally turning to wish me one more goodbye. Meet you in the soup. Page 19. I stood on my tiptoes. I raised myself to be as tall as I could be. Coping my hands around my mouth, I bellowed from the top of my lungs, 
Meet you in the soup, Mama. Page 20 is a picture of Mama. The last page on the very at the very end tells about me, the author, Cheryl Elizabeth Hill. Graduated from DC Teachers College, now the University of the District of Columbia. Graduating with a Bachelor's of Science in Elementary Education. Received my Master's of Arts degree from the University of Texas at San Antonio. Mrs. Hill, that's me, began teaching at age 22. And taught in the public schools for 40 years. Mrs. Hill resides in the greater Houston area with her husband, three adult children and grandchildren. Greenville, South Carolina is Mrs. Hill's native home. It is the setting of her book, Meet You in the Soup. On the very back of the book, it gives background for Mrs. Hill's book, Meet You in the Soup. It is a children's memoir about her growing up living with her grandmother in a three-room, straight-through shotgun house. This book is of interest, I would say, from zero through 99 or zero through 100. It is a great story to listen to and follow along and eventually read on your own. For older students, it's a great book for reading because it models the use of great exact language a wonderful technique when doing writing on your own, when doing your own writing and writing your own stories to use exact language, exact nouns. In summary, the book says the following on the back cover. Among my earliest memories of childhood, I remember saying my morning goodbyes to my grandmother with expectancy for her return at day's end. Meet you in the soup were our parting goodbye words. Yet at the same time, meet you in the soup also held a promise of my grandmother's return to our family at the end of the day so we could all be together again, just in time for supper. Even though living on Green Line, in the old colored neighborhood, in the deep south of the late 1940s and, 1950s and early 1950s, was a separate American experience compared to the American experience of the majority, But yet, in the innocence of childhood, I was unaware of life's complications for colored Americans. All I know is that I was encircled by love. I had 
fun childhood days, wonderful happy birthdays, and very Merry Christmases.